Okay, so in the comment exercise, we try to move away from the camera and then use the mouse for some form of virtual touch experience. So in this exercise, we would like to play around with time rather than space in using the mouse to control the playback of one pre-recorded movie and then to jump from one point to another by using the mouse position. So before that we can close the brow palette browser and we move the unnecessary things and create a project folder in the desktop called like mouse move 001. I also create the movies folder in order to put the external movie there. Okay, so we found the movie and put it in the movie folder and then drag it directly onto the, the project area. And initially, this is the default playback of this video. It's a sequential playback from the beginning to the end and then look back to the beginning. Okay, and if we take a look of the parameter window of the movie file in, there's one option we have not changed at all, is the play mode. So by default it's sequential, this is the, the linear playback. We can also use the second one, specify index, that we can put an index value in this box. And the default one will be the frame number, and we can choose something called a fraction, which will essentially be a number between 0 to 1, indicating the beginning and the end of your movie. So that is it. You can just use the slider to move to the specific position of your movie. So this is what we can achieve. So the one we would like to enhance is by picking the chop mouse in, which use the mouse position. So the default range of the position will be minus 1 to positive 1 for the horizontal movement, that is Tx. So we can map it with a mask to change the range from minus 1 to positive 1 to the range of 0 and 1. Then we can give a proper range for the index value. And of course, we can go out of the project one to click the perform window and then to change the opening size to fill screen and take away the border. Okay, so the next step is we would like to connect the TX value to the index. And before that, I will put another null object over here. So just in case, we would like to make more changes to, to those numbers. So now we are ready to turn on the viewer active of the now and then drag the TX to the index of the movie file in over here. So we click drag and then release select the export chop. So now we use our mouse like this to change to the different payback position of my movie. Okay, so it's already done. As I also hint, there may be some changes around here. So the change that I would like to introduce is by inserting this. You can right click your mouse button 
and then select insert operator it will go to the proper area chop for you to find out another one so the one I introduce is the filter so filter is similar to a Photoshop filter so the one we're going to use is also similar to the blur filter in Photoshop is the Gaussian blur so by putting a filter between the two numbers actually it will turn the number or, or turn the change of the number in a smoother way so it will smooth out the the change of your mouse movement you can turn on the view the display and then to have a look so now your movement will be a little bit smooth rather than the directly jump to that particular playback position and if you are fine with this version you can just leave and finish but for demonstration I'm also introducing another one which is another insert operator command so the last one we use is the filter and the new one we're going to use is spring spring adds some form of elasticity into your playback so the result will be something like this if you move to a position it will go there and bounce back and oscillate a little bit in order before it settled down to that particular position so that will be the effect of a combination of blue or a Gaussian filter and also the spring operator and so this is the 